so hello everybody! Welcome, welcome to the stream. So today we're going to be playing a little bit more Kaiserreich. And in particular, we're going to be playing as a German government exile. Um, we are going back to our Scandinavia campaign, if you remember that from... A few weeks ago? Last month? Two months ago? I don't remember exactly when we played Scandinavia. But it's this most recent save game I have that has the German government ex in exile. So that's the campaign we're going to be using. It's currently August 20th, 4th, 1940, so it's actually a pretty quick build decree, only about a year. So, where's our current position? Well, we have 7,359 divisions, which is not pretty good. Maybe that'll be updated, though, as we go on here. Um, we're already mostly done the Darkest Hour. And soon we'll probably be able to join up with the Entente, because I think that's kind of like what we have to do. Oh, what had the hell has the AI done? We need to sort all this shit out, because this is just a mess. Just get everybody into one army group. And then we'll sort that out afterwards. Yeah, this is just awful. There we go. Yeah, let, let's do like three army groups. I think three army groups make sense. At least right now. Also turn off straight standard tool. We don't need that on. And we'll get our armies ready to go for an invasion of South Africa. Because again, if once we finish our next hour, we're gonna immediately go into old al or old enemies, new allies, and help the Entente in their war against the Internationale. Because the Internationale, you know, they've got most of France, southern Germany, northern Italy, and the British Isles, and Poland and uh, Latvia. And eventually we'll go to war with Nordic Federation, but that's more of a future thing. Um, for now. I'm not too sure how long this campaign will actually even last for. It could last just this one stream, depending on how well we actually, uh, how well we actually do. Um, let's get you in charge here. It does mean we have to go and kill Scandinavia. It, it that is exactly what it means. We, we gotta go back, we gotta kill our old playthrough. We'll get a few armies ready to go on the French border for now. Hey, look, you Fabus. Uh, and then you guys will deploy. Just deploy, like, Gabon for now. Actually, no, no, no. You will also deploy down here in South Africa. Because we need to kill the Federation of South Africa first. Do you have troops on this border? Yeah, you should all be deployed down here. Do not be deployed on the Ethiopian border. I'm going to tell you right now, that does not matter. Get, get rid of this. Can you just start as a German Exiles? Uh, no, we cannot. We have to We have to load an old save game. We're playing the old uh, Scandinavia save. We do have a new CPU, so hopefully, you know, the game should be running a lot better now. And we'll be able to actually play Metro, Battlefield, all those other games I wanted to stream before, but could not actually do so. Okay, Germany's Asia is going to war in Shanghai. I mean, if you want to do that, you're actually still our puppet state. Okay, you know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. We at least still have German uh, East Africa. We also can deploy three more units. I mean, starting off with 73 units is not bad. The question is, what's our navy looking like? Oh, it's actually fucking sweet. Okay. Let's get all of our naval units together. Like, where, where are these guys? You're over here? You guys are over in this area. Come dock. Let's get all these guys together. Yeah, we're going to basically fight against uh, the International, uh, the Nordic Federation, and then against Russia in the end. Of course, with the uh, backing of the Entente. With 265 ships. Like, I'm I'm loving though, that ship number. That's, that's really good. So we got our darkest hour. We'll go with old al or old enemies, new allies, which will hopefully allow us to join up with the Entente. We'll then um, invade South Africa. Help out Portugal and Natal. We'll deal with this war, and then we'll go back up towards the north. Because, again, the war is still going on. The, United the American Civil War, that's still doing its own thing. We can't really do anything there. That would be kind of interesting if um, Hearts of Iron 4 did have more save. But, unfortunately, it does not. You can see that Mexico and Central America are both in the International, Chile, Argentina will probably join at some point soon, but I don't think they're as important. 
Yeah, I think the Kaiser, the Kaiser dies in what, 41? 1942? Like, this campaign where we played a Scandinavia, we destroyed Germany very fast. What we're going to want to do is, like, once we can actually join up with the Entente, probably send units to Portugal would be my guess. And maybe support this naval invasion here. I mean, if I was just to declare war on France. Because I've noticed that they haven't actually released a German state here, and I don't really know why. Also, like, Flanders Wallonia... They just own Poland, and I and I don't know why. Wait, what? what? I guess Flanders Wallonia does still exist. At least for right now. Hopefully the AI actually says yes. I know the AI can theoretically say no. If the AI does say no to... Get rid of this stuff. If the AI does say no to us joining the Entente, we'll just force the event. It's not really a big deal one way or the other. We will have to actually Google what the event is. Yeah, Planet Wallonia has been annexed. They got 12,000 equipment. That's actually pretty good for them. But I mean, I guess if Poland got... Yeah, they're at no, they have no troops. So that's actually pretty good for us. What we could also hope for is a Russian-French war. If they can fight against each other, that would also you know, work out pretty well for us. Because Russia right now, they're at war Transmere. I don't think that's really going to make a big difference to us one way or the other. And we have about 10 days... Until we're actually in the Entente. This is nice. It, 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 we have like a series here where within the first like 10 minutes we're already at war. As opposed to say the um, other campaigns where it takes us like two hours to get there. If you're coming here for war, you're going you're gonna to get some war. Let me just tell you that right now. We're doing pretty well here. We do have low supplies... If you have 333 ships? That's oh these ships are also really good? Okay, I'm not um I'm not gonna complain about that too much. And hopefully we will then Yeah, four more days. Uh, faction leader at war with France, German Republic, at peace with German government exile. It still works out pretty well. So once we get this done, there's no reason to get an annexation, we just join the war. Makes no sense. And actually, once we control Brandenburg, we can actually go to war with the Canadians. I didn't actually know that was a thing they could do. I, I also don't know if, um, there we go. There we go. Join the Entente. You'd love to see it. Let's go to Spirit of Resistance. Actually, your bonus of nuclear technology. You're just pretty good. Yeah, the Spirit of Resistance. And then we'll join all of your wars. The Tall, I want to join your war. They yeah, reclaim the birth right has passed. Well, yeah, join all your wars. We should straight into South Africa. Like this is an easy war we can win. And how are you guys doing over here? Okay, you've immediately lost a plot when it comes to the invasion of. Uh... Oh, you've actually. Oh no, <laughs> there's British troops here. Uh, that that's really bad for you, France. Um, let's quickly deploy troops up north. Delete this plan. I mean, you all are, are all of our plans kind of rely on us being up here. Um, yeah, no, that that's not a great way to start this. I will say that's not a good place to start. Is with the French Republic immediately falling? Are they the French Kingdom? I actually don't know what they are. Let's get delete your plan. Come to here for now. We got some Canadian troops making their way up north. Bolivia, we can have an audio creature pack. And thank you for the supplies. Bahardia Commune should not really be too much of a threat. I'm not worried about that. We will get a cipher against the... But, but actually, what technologies do we even have? I don't know. Because it all depends on what the AI was researching at... Um, as Germany, and I don't know what they were doing. We're, inherit we're inheriting a an AI position. We'll join the IAC. We'll get some more war propaganda against, against Nepal. That seems fine. Okay, Two Sicilies has capitulated. So the situation in, in Europe, I will say, uh, is not good. 
you know, th this could be better. I'm surprised. Why is France not releasing any territory? Did they just annex the whole thing? I guess so. Apparently, they're also fortifying the German border. I'm not too sure what that's going to accomplish for them, but, you know, good luck with that. So right now, we're looking at about 4 million against potentially 3 to 6.5. It's a little bit hard to tell how many troops they have. That's also including Burma, Bahardi Kami, and South Africa, and Nepal. We do have more units coming up here. Get more supplies from you. Thank you. How's our Air Force looking, by the way? Uh, 1.3 thousand aircraft. Okay, that is completely acceptable. Yeah, 400. Strength's quite low. You're attacking a knight. Are you at least, like, strategically redeploying? You're not. I mean, we're going to need to retake French territory. And yeah, South Africa should fall, I would imagine, relatively soon. And then we can bring up, you know, these other troops up north. Are we at least still getting supplies here? Yeah, supplies are still coming up. I'm trying to think, because, I mean, we've got Nordic Federation. I mean, Greece is in the Entente. We could use Greece as, like, a staging point to invade into Italy, or into France, or into Britain. I mean, what, what do you think is the weakest point? It's probably Italy, right? Can GGE join the Entente? I'm not too sure what GGE is. Or the German government exile? Yeah, we're already in the uh, we're already in the Entente. Um, let's go. I mean, it's 1940. We're already getting into research. Apparently, we've gone for a grand battle plan. Let's go for better artillery units for now. Okay, we've got one unit here. I guess that's something. Algeria's fallen. The French Republic's capitulated. You hate to see it. Oh my... Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why can't I draw a front line here? So the Fran France is already dead. And that did not take long. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so we're we're starting off in a um in a in a not great position. Okay, the Algerian government has already fallen in like a, in one day. You guys be very aggressive, by the way. You might as well. I mean, because it doesn't really matter if you take this area here. First thing we gotta do is make sure that we can actually get supplies to these army units. By the way, how close is South Africa? South Africa is almost dead. And then all these units can be put somewhere that's actually meaningful. Again, I want you all to be very aggressive. The more aggressive you are, we know there we know there's some French units up here. The Confederation is doing quite well for themselves. Do we have territory up here? No. Let's draw a fallback line there then. Get these guys all together. This is now fallen. And I are you getting supplies? Not yet. Once you take over one of these provinces, we should be good. Okay, all of you will be here. That's not what I wanted to do. Yep, yeah, you're on a different army. Please, please and thank you. Uh, we'll assign you with this guy. You just defend here from now, while we push into here.
We've got orange army. Let's move units like this. South Africa has fallen. And I think the I think Natal has cores over all this land. So we'll just give it to them. Natal, congratulations, it's now yours. There we go. You're now the South African Federation. So, I mean, the Entente, we, we still got a pretty sizable control of, of Africa. Let's move these units up. And let's move these units up here as well. I mean, this area, even though it's controlled by the AI, it doesn't really make any difference. We'll get our troops to at least... um capture this area so the AI doesn't get uh, confused about it. it. Looks like the French have... they landed in like Corfu and they're just stuck there. Okay, Romania. I don't know why the AI is not releasing countries. I find that very strange. I wonder if it's because maybe we loaded like an old version... an old save. I don't know. But we can... Capture back this territory. Get a naval invasion somewhere in southern Europe. We're at 76. Well, actually, what, what heck? We're actually on civilian economy right now. If you want to go to war economy as fast as possible. Poland is in... Um, they're in the Internationale. Apparently, they're now to Sicily. So, they've kind of migrated. So, they're having a fun time. Yeah, we got more troops marching up north. In our air superiority, this is where we should be using our planes. 200. Problem is, is like all the air bases here suck. Yeah, we got all these planes that we really can't do anything with at the moment. Like how many, how many aircraft do they have over West Africa? They have 900 planes. Like, I mean, that's not, it's not nothing, for sure. <laughs> like a CK success question? I mean, you're not, you're not wrong. Wait, see, what, what are we building construction? We have two civilian factories. Okay, so... We're 16 3 12. We're building a lot of aircraft, which, I mean, actually is not a bad idea. We have 36,000 rifles, which is not horrible. We know that, okay, so the AI has bad supplies. I also have bad supplies. We got the Spear of Resistance. Vision speed, because we're good factory 2%. Like a power plus 60. Worst war for the paternal autocrats. 500 guns. Better ships. 5,000 guns and more recruited population. Actually, no, we, we need the industry. Let's, let's try to get our industry up as uh, much as we can. And then get some we'll get some steel from the Russians. Russia, you should invade um somebody and go to war with the French. That's that's my thoughts here. Didn't Edward advocate from Canada? Um Yeah, Henry the uh the ninth is currently in charge in Canada. So we're not we're not really too sure what's going on there. Again, Greece is still doing okay. As long as they can hold that front, I'm not too worried about them. And remember, like, North German Federation and Nordic Federation, they're, they're doing their own thing. They're not actually important at all. Okay, they're trying to push their way into here. We have low supplies. Which, I mean, isn't great. Canada wants to be an expeditionary force. We're going to say no to that. Let's see if maybe we can capture the ports on this area. I don't know the, the Ottomans. Can they even join the, uh, the Entente? N no. I don't think so. I don't think they can do anything. Because the Reichspact doesn't exist anymore. 
They can join the Entente, I think, if they go social liberal. But clearly they're not going social liberal this campaign. There's a lot of international troops in uh in Africa here. Yes, they're, they're trying to push us back. Out of Algeria. We're gonna say no to that for now. We're still holding on. Do you not connect here? You don't, okay. You look like you might, but you actually do not connect. Get the forces in. Um, I don't know actually. I don't know if there's really any content for if you reconquer Germany. There might be content, but there also might be nothing. Okay, modified government, let's go to early mobilization because our industry right now is in the crapper, as scientists like to put it. Do you have any industry tech? We do. Let's let's get the let's get the industry tech going. Still trying to take or still trying to push their way into here. Got reinforcements coming in. Panama declared war on somebody. They declared war on Costa Rica. And the Dutch are now at war with the International. Okay, this is kind of doing their own thing, I guess. The Dutch are probably not long for this world, would be my guess. But we will see. Again, all of our forces are... Like, they're not they're not great, okay? But I think the international forces are slightly worse. Recognize our government exile. We're going to say no to this for now. 